Killing Out the Deer Stands, William Hovey Smith, 2019. I'm the author of a series of outdoor books, as well as some business titles. And my current business title is Create Your Own Job Security, Plan to Start Your Own Business at Midlife. Now this I wrote with middle managers in mind. I'm now expanding that title to make it more universally applicable. And my new title is Make Your Own Job Anytime, Anywhere, at Any Age that'll be published by Stratton Press in the winter of 2019-2020. This is Hobie Smith, the backyard sportsman. And we have been doing a terrible killing in the deer stands this year. It's October 10. We've had temperatures approaching 100 degrees and better. And there has been a great slaughter here. But now that the sands may be safely occupied again, I am going to offer one hunter, or a hunter and his buddy, a five-day hunt here at Whitehall. And this is not the famous Whitehall Plantation in Georgia. It is Whitehall, named after my ancestral home in Washington County. But nonetheless, we have ample numbers of deer, and you can come down and hunt with me for five days and take three deer. If you bring your buddy, you still take three deer. If you hunt three days instead of five, you pay the same amount. You stay in my house, you eat my food, you shoot my guns, my crossbows, you hunt my deer, and we have a great time. The details of the offer will be at the end of the video. One of the first things a hunter needs to do when he occupies his deer stands every year is to, of course, clear them so we can shoot out of them successfully. This stand has been up for years, but also take care of certain residents. Uh, in brief, wasp nest, and in particular the red wasp, which are very vicious. Uh, they bite. Like most insects, they are sort of slow to move in cool weather and first thing in the morning. But uh, all of a sudden you turn around and the stand heats up and these wasps start all over. And uh, in this stand we have a particularly large and vicious uh, looking nest of wasp up there which we are about to eradicate through the use of some insect killer here. We shall see how we do. Okay, I think that treatment is a success. And here's a look at the nest itself after I knocked it down. Yeah, the, almost the entire colony had hatched. So, uh, we were talking about, oh, more than 100 individuals, I suspect. You can see exactly the same thing is going on right here. There is an inactive nest in the opposite corner. But God knows. Look at this one. Wow, and they're all hatched out and they're all about right there. Pretty well got to get them. The only thing that's protecting me is this foam right in front. If I hit them, they fly away. Okay, I'm out of here, guys. You can see them moving and flying around the nest right now. You can imagine they would not be too happy were I in there. And here is yet another stand. And I know we will find other occupants. You can see again an old nest in the back. And a new one started forward with a wasp in it and hatching out right now. So we're going to have to get in closer. This is close range work. 
This spray is for ants and roaches, although it will kill wasps. It's not a long distance spray. Only had a couple working in that one. But you also need to check things like the bottom of your chairs. Or so it'll get under there too. And that's rather surprising when you reach under to turn your chair and you find you have grasped a live wasp nest and have tens of wasps on it. Some wasp on this active nest are still emerging. And this paper is tough stuff. I sometimes use it as wadding for muzzle-loading shotguns. Now one thing not to do is to take this when it's not fully emerged and put it inside and let it warm up. Because guess what? Then the wasp start hatching. Well, we have one more stand to check out. I've shot some nice deer from this stand and turkeys and other things. So we shall see. So far, so good. But again, when you open this door, you could be struck with a swarm of wasps right in the face. Not good. Well, we have spider webs and a rope nest. But, so far, no wasps. In this event, the spiders are your friends. You see there's a wasp looking right there. But he's not settling down. You can have one occasionally pass through, it's fine. But to be in the same blind with hundreds of them is not good. This one's good. It just needs to be generally mucked out and uh, then we'll be fine. And even when you climb built up stands like this, you want to make sure you check underneath the bottom of those seats. Because yeah, Wasps like those protected places too. I now have a GoFundMe project for make your own job anytime, anywhere, at any age. And for each $20 donation, you may receive any of my published titles for your own use or for donations to libraries, reading rooms, union halls, etc. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.